Escaping Denver, Episode 12, The Shaft. Well, this is it. The last episode. At least for now. I wanted to keep it brief and jump right into it, but I thought a quick rundown might be appropriate. So Noah and Sarah wake up in concrete cells in the bowels of an underground facility run by the Collective. And the Collective are presumably some sort of secret government or something. They liken themselves to the New World Order. Anyways, they're testing on Noah and Sarah, and instead of just going through the maze like good little lab rats, they broke free of it. With the help of their ally, they went deeper into the facility to areas beyond the control of the Collective. And now they're being hunted by a group of soldiers in some sort of giant cavern filled with a subdivision worth of house-sized domes. Oh, and there are creatures. On their last phone call with the woman who sounds like she's in charge, their ally was killed. But not before shouting out that not only do their phones work, they shouldn't trust the numbers in their phones. Now let's see what they do with that information. So here's the deal. If one of you shouts out, let us know where you are. We'll be spared. A little blood and a trip to the surface saves us the trouble, the time, and the resources. All you have to do... All you have to do is call out. Come, come, this way. And keep away from the water. Fine. Have it my way. Give me your hand. Stop recording and give me a hand. It's been a little while since we recorded. Sorry, it's just been... It, it's been a little hairy. We're in a little cave thing in another one of the forest domes. The entrance to it is behind some thick brush, so I'm thinking we're safe for the moment. We're not safe. You saw them. You saw what we're up against. You're right. We're not safe. There were 12 of them, including Palmer. He looks exactly like you'd expect someone to look when they've been described as a wolf. Bright white hair, piercing eyes, a real alpha. Along with them are 10 guys with enough firepower to take down a dinosaur, and, and lastly, possibly the scariest of the bunch, looking like an ancient warlord, is a guy with six of those lizard dogs on chains. Did you mention the whistle? Yeah, the, the warlord guy, he kept blowing a whistle. No, he wasn't just blowing a whistle. He was controlling them with it. Didn't you hear it? The different rhythms, intervals, pitch, a whole language. Did you know that when you used the whistle? No. I wish I still had the whistle now. Yeah, I wish I had a lot of things right now. How are we going to get out of this? I don't know. I guess we just keep moving until we find the way out. No, this. Right now. How do we get past this? We gotta get out of this cavern. Okay. Then what? Keep going? I, I, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Look, they're gonna keep coming for us. Follow us into the next space. Maybe even corner us. We can be fast. We don't know what's ahead of us, but we know what's here. It's a huge space. We can separate them. And then one by one... Are you out of your mind? We can separate them? So what? I even one of them can destroy us. Did you see their guns? Plus, we're not killers. Speak for yourself. Right. Right. Your, your strength that mysteriously disappeared after you threw the guy. It happened. I'm sure it did. But unless you can summon that strength at will, I don't think we can factor it into our plans. We need to be smarter than them, not stronger. Then what do you suggest? I heard something in here. We're good. Must have been a bird or something. Dobra, it's a coupon. What the? <laughs> if you want to survive, you're gonna to have to do something eventually. The rest are yours. 
He's right. We can't stay here now that he killed one. They're bound to circle back with more of them. Damn it. Holy shit. His head's completely backwards. What are you doing? Put your phone down. Help me get his body into the cave. So we now have two guns because... Find the safety? Yeah, I think so. Good. Make sure it's off. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want a repeat of what happened. You know, how was I to know the safety was on? I have one hand. It was hard enough to even hold the damn thing. I'm not always going to be there to save you. You know, one could argue that the only reason you were able to hit him with the rock was because he was so preoccupied with the one-handed guy trying to shoot him. One could argue, but I'm not that one. So what's the next move? We can't really be thinking of picking them off one by one. We've been lucky so far, but there are still ten of them out there somewhere. Armed to the T and actively looking for us. I don't have a better plan, but I know the less of them, the better it is for us. I say we continue- Shh, shh, shh. One of them's outside. He's coming towards the door. Duck, duck. Why is he propping it open? Shit, shit. Out the back, quickly. Something's in there. Caught ya! Get in there and kill him! Around the side. Let's get behind the pillow. He's, he's pissing. Wait, where are you? was that? I told you to stay away from the water. So we're down to nine. Maybe even less if any other creatures have participated. Still some pretty terrible odds, and I'm not sure their having guns is going to help them either. From what we've heard, Noah isn't exactly a marksman. Sarah's filled with secrets, so it wouldn't surprise me if she was some sort of sniper in her past life, but even that has yet to be seen. Now, I'm with Noah on this. They can't possibly be expecting to go soldier by soldier eliminating the enemy. They're not Rambo. Eventually, their luck will run out, and they'll just be gunned down. Noah had mentioned seeing something in the water before. A fishtail with hair. Maybe that's what grabbed our chupacabra warlord. We're in this with Noah and Sarah, so we're seeing things from their perspective but just stop and think about how dangerous this is for the soldiers, too. They've been sent in to kill two humans, but their hunting grounds are teeming with monsters. Plus, they're the ones having to walk around and make all the noise. I'm not saying we should feel bad for them, it's just... makes you think. And no. I know I said they're down to nine, but it's gotta be less than that. Has to be. Did, did you see what pulled him in? No, and I definitely don't want to stick around and get a second look. It just, it pulled him away from me like it was nothing. I was choking him by his whistle chain, then poof, I'm just standing there, holding the chain. Well, be happy you got something from him. Everything else is in the bottom of that water. We should move. Yes, but let's shut the front door he propped open. It'll lock the lizard dog things in. What's my name? This way! Inside! <sighs> We're at a bit of a stalemate, if I'm using that correctly. It's a standoff. Kind of. Basically, we lock the doors to keep them out, which is also what's keeping us in. Now, so many domes are filled with trees. Cover, but but we're in an empty dome, on full display for them. What can we do that they won't be able to counter immediately? Hey, aren't you supposed to be the optimistic one? Looks like Palmer is back to talk. Oh, good. More threats. What do you want, Palmer? I want to give you... You want to give us one last chance for the fifth time? 
really weakens your stance the more times you use it. We can cut through this door as easily as we cut through the last one. Mm, except that this time you don't have your whole team. What are you down to? What, six or seven? You're dropping like flies. Maybe it's time you guys just pack up. Try another day. Or don't. Uh, either way, I think this round is over. Over? I strongly disagree there, Noah. From how I see it, we're only just getting started. Yes, I came over to try and deal. Who wouldn't want their job to be easier? But instead, no. I'm going to make it as hard on you as you seem to want it. I think you'll find we're not the ones making it hard. I'd go check on that. You might be down in another couple. They're down to five now, but that's not slowing them down. They've begun cutting through the door. Palmer is just standing there staring at us all crazy-eyed. Yeah, keep eyeballing me, you new world creep. We'll see how you do when you get inside. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna kill us. I think there has to be a way out. You kill me and I kill you? Wrong way out. We're going to survive this. Oh, they've made a hole and they're shooting through it. Oh, no shit! Listen to how clear I sound. Much better. Maybe you'll hear me a little more clearly now. It's over. Done. Finished. Come to terms with whatever god you choose, because you'll be meeting them soon enough. You still have to cut through the door. In time. Which I have plenty of, and of which you are in dire need. Noah, what are you doing? Back away from the door, or I'll shoot again. <laughs> and what? You'll miraculously bend a bullet 90 degrees to go through this tiny hole in the door? You shot through it. Because I'm right beside it, aren't I? You, on the other hand, are pinned against a wall a good 15 feet away. The only thing you're getting through this hole is your tiny voice. My voice. The whistle. I can call the lizard dogs. Won't they just help these guys? They're on their side. Animals don't pick sides. If our treatment's any indication, I'd bet those lizard dogs have no love for the soldiers. You'd bet our lives? That's all we have. What are you two conspiring about over there? Saying your goodbyes? Clever. Too bad they're with us. All you did was add to our strength. Pay them no mind, gentlemen. Don't spook him with your guns. They are trained. You see, you've once again failed to hear me. I told you this was over. And you failed to hear me too. I said if you came at me, I'd kill you. Good. Eat your fill. You're, uh, uh... I'm glad you're on my side. This is only the beginning, rats. I'll be back to finish this. Yeah, try not to trip on the tail between your legs. Oh, God. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. They're just like us. Trapped here against their will, desperate to survive. Yeah. Well, I'm drawing the line at eating the soldiers. We'll move once they're done. That whistle. Literally the most dangerous weapon in their arsenal, and she almost knows how to use it, too. At least to call them and have them attack. Gotta give it to him. Noah was right. They had to be smarter than the soldier, smarter than Palmer to survive this. And they were. This is a huge win. Yes, the collective is still way ahead, but this has got to count for a few points on the board for Noah and Sarah. Now, now they got to get on the move. They're still in a cavern filled with creatures, and it would be in their best interest to move beyond it. But to where? As far as we've seen, there's only the one way in. How much further do they have to go? Uh, and then they won't attack? Not if I keep using the whistle. Plus, I imagine they're full at the moment. Not helping. 
Just poke around and see if any of the bodies have anything useful. Ammo, medkit, keys, anything really. I'm getting tired of stealing from the dead. Me too, Noah. But what choice do we have? Well done! Thanks, and thank you for your help. So what now? We push on. The main road is dangerous. Far worse creatures than what's in here. Well, we can't go back. No, you can't. But there is another way. Where? There is a waterfall at the far end of the cavern. It's what powers this space. Behind the falls is a passageway. Why should we trust you? You took Noah's hand. But not his life. Go to the falls. We need more than that to go off. Where does it lead? Hello? Where does it lead? Always running off. To the falls? To the falls. Well, it's as promised. Let's just figure out how to get behind this thing. There. Uh, along the right-hand side. See the ledge? Yeah. Let's head for that. And quickly. Hello! It's incredible. So, we're pretty sure we found the shaft that our ally was talking about. I mean, if this isn't it, I don't know what could be. The passageway behind the waterfall was basically another maze. Dozens of corridors that branched off the hallway. Some led to locked doors, others to electrical rooms. Nothing that felt like a way out. Until we found this space. The shaft! We don't need to draw attention to ourselves. <sighs> Palmer's gone, and we've shut a handful of doors between us and the falls, so I'm not worried about creatures sneaking in. Mm? What about creatures that were already inside? Well... Now I'm worried. Anyway, the shaft is incredible. Looking down, it's like it goes on forever, right into darkness. And looking up... Yeah? Is that light? Like sky? Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's tiny from down here. Could be just a light. No. I think that's sun. I think that's our way out. How the hell are we to climb all the way up? It's smooth walls and I've got one hand. There! The ladder! The ladder that's on the other side of the shaft? That's, like, over 60 feet away. We can't possibly... Well, I don't know, Noah, but that's light up there. That's out. We have to try something. I know. I know, and, and we will. We, we just... we have to think. We need to somehow get to the other side of the shaft. There's doorways all the way up and down the shaft. You see them? Yeah. So we just need to get to one of those. Yep. Yeah. Easy enough. You want to rest up a little or press on? I guess press on. Right. Press on it is. How are you for battery life? Um... Um... Bad? I have a bar. A bar? A bar of reception. Well, call someone, anyone. Damn it, call failed. Try again. Shit, again, it's not letting me call out. The messages. L let let's try and send the messages. Yes, to everyone? Yes. Yeah, no, wait, no. Uh, uh, she said not to trust the numbers in our phones. Then who do we message? I don't know anyone's phone number anymore. We pick one. The same one. And we both send it all to them. And what? They get us help? Yeah. Yeah, of course. They'll go to the police, show them the messages, help will come. H how could they ignore them? That's a lot of faith in a stranger. Look, if I can't trust the numbers in my phone, or even my own memory, what choice do I have? Okay. Pick an area code. I turned off the data in my phone. I, I don't know how reception works, but we both agreed that one less phone trying to connect might make the connection or whatever better. Stronger. Sarah is sending off the first batch of messages to our new stranger. Hello, stranger. <laughs> Sorry to dump all this on you, but we could really use some help. You don't know the feelings you brought out of me. Are you seven? I, I like echoes. What else are we going to do while we wait? 
You were forbidden fruit, and I had hungry eyes watching the way you move under the neon. You know this song? <laughs> yeah. A few years ago, I had a roommate obsessed with the band. Heard that song on repeat for months. Oh, it's been in my head for days. I just can't place it, though. You hate when that happens. It'll drive you nuts. When I was in, uh, well, I had this song stuck in my head on repeat. I wasn't really talking to others, so it just played over and over again. How'd you get it out? To be honest, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that time too much. It was back in 2018. Back in, yeah. Way back to six months ago, the good old days. Dude, that's two and a half years ago. You're off by a bit of a margin. That's... Wait, what, what, what year do you think it is? Think it is? I don't think, I know. It's 2019. 2021. Holy shit. Well, that's it. The last message I received. Now, does that mean they've died? Got caught? Or that they've simply moved away from reception and are waiting to send another batch? I really won't know until I know. But my gut, as Sarah is so fond of following, says that they're alive. Those two are survivors. All right, where to start? Well, I guess the shaft. Sarah said it dropped off into darkness and stretched up until the opening was tiny, which pretty much confirms what we've already known all along, that they are incredibly deep underground. While being that deep underground is obviously startling, what scares me most about it is that it seemingly continues on for ages. Drops off to darkness. Sounds like the pits of hell or something. Or, or maybe it's this hollow earth theory that I was so quick to dismiss in my research. They say that the earth is just a shell and that it's really hollow inside. Granted, they also say that the shell is 800 miles thick, so that would have to be one hell of a deep shaft. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's address it. We all heard it. And before we jump to conclusions, maybe maybe it's just a side effect from whatever they used to get Noah into the maze in the first place. Yeah, I don't buy it either. There's a pretty glaring two-year gap between them, and my best guess is that Noah was on ice for it. But that's all that is. A guess. Until I get more messages, we really won't know. I promise this, though. When they get more messages to me, and they will... I'll be back to share them all with you. In the meantime, to keep up to date, I'm at Escaping Denver on both Twitter and Instagram. And as always, you can reach me at EscapingDenverPod at gmail.com. Thank you to Curious Cast, without whom I'd never have gotten these messages out. And lastly, thank you to you, the listeners, my companions in this pursuit of answers. I'll be back before you know it for another episode of Escaping Denver. You don't know the feelings you brought out in me. Open up the cage and set my spirit free. It was only once, but I can't help just remembering the way it felt in my. When I'm alone at night When I'm